is from the word arafah, which means uh, to, uh, to know, right? So ma'aruf is, is from that which is known. And when you make hajj, you, uh, you, uh, you get to go on Mount Arafah, and where knowledge has been imparted. And, but look at Munkar. Munkar is the opposite of that. It takes away the life. It takes away that which will make you successful. It makes you empty and void. So we're told to avoid Munkar, right? From being Munkar. So why would I leave what Imam W.D. Muhammad uh, teach me and go to that old teaching that they have is nothing but Munkar. <laughs> it's Munkar. Allahu Akbar. So, uh, uh, it says that your, uh, your, uh, your, uh, the death of one soul is as the same as the death of one people, whole people. So it tells you how important the soul is. One soul is equivalent to the death of the whole people. And if one soul is resurrected, is it equivalent to the whole, a whole people being resurrected? Allahu Akbar. You know, it, it is nice to be a witness. Yes. It is a, uh, nice to be a witness. So let's, uh, let me move on here. So uh, now look at it. Look at us as, as, as human beings. We got our mothers and fathers and grandparents and so forth. They all were, were before, but you know they're still within us. They're still within us in our flesh. They're still within us within our genes. So they're still within us. And we, uh, Imam Muhammad gave a good example of... Um, excuse me just a second. Imam Muhammad gave an example. He said, it's just like uh, uh, parents would say, I lost that child. That means he, lo he lost his mind, right? I lost that child. But he came back. Allahu Akbar. So, our parents, they're within us. Our parents, they live within us. You know, in the Holy Quran, it said that you will return to Allah. You know, everybody, you know, when a person passed, says that he has returned to God. Well, where are you returning to? Where are you going? God is everywhere. In the Holy Quran, he said, wherever you are, God is everywhere. And he says, he's closer to you than your own juggler vein. That means he's right there, right? And we know that it says that Allah has put a little bit of his ruh in everything. A little bit of his ruh in everything. So when you say you're going to return to God, where are you going? The return to God is not a place, as Imam W. D. Muhammad said. Return to God is your to return to your original obedience to Almighty God. Woo. The return to God is returning to your original nature. Now look, we made Hajj. Many of us made Hajj. Can you imagine that? You go, you make Hajj, and when you go, uh, uh, you make Hajj, uh, make Hajj, you don't go there to, to find God. God is everywhere. Right? You go and make connection with your original nature. You go look, looking for uh, uh, connecting with Adam. And you're connecting with Prophet Muhammad. So when you go there, you're dressed up as a babe. The males are dressed up as a babe. Why? Because they need to be reborn. And the women, they give birth. And most of the problems we have in the world, who has done it? Men, right? So you go back and you make hajj. And then once you go through the rituals of hajj, you have been purified and said that you have been guaranteed paradise. Mm. Allahu Akbar. Now don't go out there and rob a bank. <laughs> don't go out there and kill somebody. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. But look at that. When you make hajj, you see people coming from all over the world. And they're coming together. And then they circle around the, 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 the house. And they go around seven times, and if you was on the roof, many of us was on the roof, me and my wife, we was on the roof. Thank, uh, this brother was on the roof. There's quite a few people that made Hajj with us, Sister uh, Tahita, you made it with. And some of us was on the roof, and you see the people going around the, uh, the, the Kaaba, it looked like a river. Wow. Like a river. Allahu Akbar. So you, all these people looking like a river that's going around the Kaaba. They're going around in different, uh, 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 in uh, different uh, circles. They're going from the outer circle. They're going inner and inner and inner and return. And they come into red to the where the black stone is. And and uh, the goal is to kiss the black stone. 
And uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, when he made Hajj, he said, I, 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 saw, I thought I was kissing myself. <laughs> you was kissing yourself because Adam, all of us come from Adam. So Adam never died. Adam lives. Adam just grew and developed to reach his highest form, his highest destiny. And that highest destiny is uh, reflected in Prophet Muhammad. It says that uh, Abraham, uh, the father Abraham, uh, he is called a father. Why? Because he is the father of intellectual thought, of judgment. You look at things, you want to know why. Why? Why is the sun out there? Why is the stars out there? Why is the moon out there? You can fall into uh, the trap of worshiping the sun as being God. You can worship the stars as being God. And you can worship the moon as being God. And then Abraham, he said, no, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the one that caused it is more important than the effect. Allahu Akbar. So that's that rational thought. And then we see Prophet Muhammad. He, 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 said he made a, a, a night trip, a, a night vision. He, he went up into the stages of heaven. And uh, he met at the first station, uh, Adam. Then he went on up and he met at the last station, Abraham. And then uh, he led him in prayer. But uh, he also went over to Jerusalem where he saw the societal and community development. In Jerusalem, it represented the, one of the highest societal developments. And then when Prophet Muhammad came back, he was uh, told to go to Medina. And he went to Medina. God told him to go to Medina. He went to Medina, and that's where he established the model city. The model human being and the model city. Allahu Akbar. With the model book. The book that is for everybody. The collective human soul. Uh, please give me about five more minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm coming, uh, coming to a close. So, Allahu Akbar. So the collective human soul. I mean, we can see that. If uh, you got electricity everywhere, if you cut the power source in the world, what do you have? Darkness. Right? And that electricity is all throughout the universe. But when you connect to that electricity, the light comes on, doesn't it? Allahu Akbar. The uh, Holy Quran says a lot uh, 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 brings you out of the darkness into the light. Then he uh, sends uh, servants, and their job is to bring you out of the darkness into the light. The collective human, universal collective soul, or the collective universal soul. Uh, Imam Muhammad, he says that. He was able to see the past, the present, and the future. How is that? And the reason was is because of his study and his sincerity. Allah elevated him to the highest level as a reflection of Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad is our leader. Imam Muhammad is just a reflection of Prophet Muhammad. And who should we be? We should be a reflection of Prophet Muhammad. When an imam comes before you, he's in the office of Prophet Muhammad. When you lead your, uh, yourself in prayer, you're in the office of Prophet Muhammad. Even when you do sunnah prayer, men and women, you're doing your own sunnah prayer, who's leading you in prayer? Allahu Akbar. And so, Imam Muhammad, he says that uh, the reason that he was able to uh, 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 see the past, present, and future is that Allah has blessed him to make connection with our collective universal soul. Think about that. Now if Prophet Muhammad and within him is all the essence of all the prophets, and that's in you. What was in Prophet Muhammad was within you. Now you think about on, on a social, a, a social uh, responsibility. From us being here in America, look at all the protests uh, that came out of the uh, freedom movement. The biggest problem they had is that they, uh, people separated them. Oh, I didn't like Nat Turner, but I like David Walker. I didn't like Frederick Douglass, but I like Sojourner Truth. I didn't like uh, uh, Noble Drew Ali, but I like the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I didn't like uh, Martin Luther King, but I like Malcolm, uh, and, and so forth. But what we were supposed to be able to see, and we're seeing it now, is look at their best that they had. 
and we take the best for that collective soul and we see that